Good morning and welcome to the Demo Creator channel. My name is Jens and today we would like to take a look together at the core video recording features of Wondershare's new Demo Creator software. If you are still on the lookout for an all-in-one screen capturing and video editing software, then Demo Creator might be the perfect fit for you because it really doesn't matter if you want to record your Zoom meetings, PowerPoint presentations, maybe also the games you play or just your screen. Demo Creator can do all of this and way more. Now we are going to take a look at my device and we are going to see how the video recording actually works in Demo Creator. We are going to dive right in. Right after launching Demo Creator, it's going to ask you if you want to do a new recording or if you want to edit something. Today we are going to focus only on the recording side of things, so we are naturally going to click on New Recording. Now a new window is going to pop up, which is going to be your main interface of screen recording. You can already start screen recording by clicking on this little red button right here. It's going to indicate that you're going to start recording with this little 3 to 1 countdown. But we can't get started with the recording yet because we don't know if everything is set up properly yet. To set everything up, so to get all your settings done, we are going to click on this little gear icon and see what's going to pop up. After clicking on the gear icon, you are going to be provided with four main options. You can set up the screen and the ratio and the part of the screen you actually want to record. Then you can set up your audio, camera and you are going to get some advanced settings. At first, don't forget if you want to record something, especially your voice, make sure that your microphone is selected. One of the microphones you are going to be provided with, with your computer or maybe an external microphone. Use the one that you are familiar with that you want to use and then click on it. Same thing goes with the camera. If you want to set up a face cam, make sure to click on the camera tab and choose a camera of your liking. Apart from that, you can also change the resolution of your camera as well as the frames per second that it's going to be recording with. To now check if your camera is actually working, click on capture yet again and then you are going to be redirected back to the window we were on before. And now you can see down here in the corner that the camera is actually capturing my face right now. Now that we are done with setting up the basics, the basic properties, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the actual screen recording. In the first part we are going to take a look at Zoom recordings, PowerPoint recordings and screen recordings in general. And after that we are going to take a look at the specialized game recording function that we are going to have down here. Up here in the screen recordings you can at first choose if you want to capture just part of the screen or full screen. For my purposes the full screen is actually better right now. And also the frames per second that you are going to record with. Natural to the eye seems 30 FPS, but you can also set it up to 60 or 120 FPS. It's really up to you what the frames per second should be, but beware the higher the frames per second you record with, the more strain it's going to have on your computer, so pick carefully. I'm going to go with 30 frames per second and now I'm going to click on the capture option yet again. Putting my face cam somewhere, it really doesn't matter where you put it, and now I'm going to click on the record button. Once you start with the recording, just like before, there's going to be this little countdown and now we are live. Make sure to kind of hide this overlay somewhere, it really doesn't matter where you hide it. And now you can go ahead and get started with actually recording, for example, your PowerPoint presentation. If I go ahead and run my PowerPoint presentation, you are going to notice that it's going to switch now to the presentation mode. And now we can simply go ahead and start switching between the slides. And once you're done with the recording, make sure to click on stop and then you are going to be redirected to the editing software. This is for another video though. And this basically already covers the screen recording for a PowerPoint presentation. And the same process is going to apply to recording Zoom meetings for example. Here's one thing that you should take into consideration though. Sometimes you don't want to record, for example, the, the voice from the Zoom meeting in the background. If you don't want to record the sound from the Zoom meeting, make sure to click on this little speaker button that we're having here and this way you are going to cut off the system microphone meaning you are not going to record your windows audio which is important to some people but if you want to record for example a whole lecture with the lecturer speaking in the background make sure to activate the system mic again such that you can actually hear him what he's saying and once you're done with that just click on the record button yet again and then you are settled now that we are done with the Zoom recordings and the PowerPoint recordings, we are going to go ahead and take a look at game capturing. And if you're wondering why I didn't talk more about screen recording in general, well, there's really not a big difference between PowerPoint presentation recordings and screen capturing in general. So just go through the same procedure and then you are basically done. 
Now for the game capturing, we are going to click on the game button right here and now you are going to be able to choose a game of your liking. And actually, all the programs that you are going to have run in the background in your Windows Explorer actually count as games in some way. Each and every open window does count as a game. So if we just take a look at, for example, Mailbeard, okay, th this is my mail program. You can click on capture and now it's going to record my mail program in the background. Click on recording and it's the first game you could capture. Now I have started an actual game in the, in the background. You can see it yet, it's, it's minimized right now. But to access your game using the recording software, you are going to change from Mailbeard, in my case, to Bully Parade. That's the game I'm going to let run in the background. And then you can click on capture and start recording. Once you started recording, you are not going to see that it's actually recording in the background, but it does. And now you can start playing your game and then you are going to capture all of what you are doing right now on screen. Once you're done recording in your game, you can actually stop the recording by pressing F10, the function key. And now you are going to be redirected to your editor. Now, just to check that it's recorded actually, I'm going to track everything into here. And now you are going to notice that it did do so indeed. And do not be confused if the recording looks kind of laggy here in the editor. It's just basically scaling down on the quality of the video for you to edit nicer without any lags or any kind of weird stuff. But once you render the video, it's going to be very nice and fluid in 60 FPS. And here's the last way you can actually record a game. It's in windowed mode. So if you start a game in windowed mode, Make sure to change your settings back to screen capture. And what we want to do is we want to just set a certain frame to be recorded. In my case, I want to record this very window. So I'm going to drag it over here and just scale it up such that I'm going to capture all of the window that I'm having here in some way. And then I'm going to click on record yet again. And now you can start playing even in window mode and record. And this basically already concludes the overview of the recording features here in Demo Creator. If you got any more questions, make sure to post them down there in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Demo Creator for yourself by using the link at the top of the description. There you can find the download, the free download for the software. And you can also get yourself a lifetime license for a very nice price. Other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Demo Creator channel. And I'm seeing you in the next video. This has been Jens and... Have a great day. Ciao.